Hello, this is Brian Queen with Imagine It Technologies, bringing you a video tech tip of watershed data coming from Civil 3D going to InfraWorks. Okay, let's begin with a blank drawing. I'm going to set the coordinate system first off. Okay, and, and okay. All right, so now I'm going to bring in a land XML file of a very simple surface that I want to use for this illustration. Okay, the surface is the only item in there, so very succinct. Okay, so ignore all the oddities you'll see on the surface. Yes, I know. So what I want to do is, uh, with this surface, uh, 10 surface you'll see, I'm going to go analyze and grab some catchment areas. Okay, and what I'm going to use is the 2D polyline option. We do have the availability to do 3D polylines, but I'm going to go with 2D, okay? And I'm just going to pick a bunch of random points for my catchment area identifications, and some areas will, some locations I pick rather, will return a solution or a polyline. Others won't, and there will be some overlaps which we're going to correct here in a little bit simply by deleting okay so i think i want to get rid of this and i believe yeah there was a couple of those all right um delete this one yeah let's see let me get rid of that one that's inside of another one and it's possible that's the solution but for this i just don't want uh much overlap okay so as you zoom in you'll see that those internal uh, discharge points show up as simply as point objects, okay? I'm going to isolate these polylines by hiding or setting the style for my surface to no display because I just want to go through and be able to manually pick these objects, okay? So you'll see these are closed polylines that are generated, all right? So, okay, so now I go through map export I need to take these out into a mechanism and it can be shape files or whatever. I just chose I just chose to go with SDF file for this. Okay, I'm going to call this VTT watersheds, okay? All right. So, I'm going to go into the options and manually pick these closed polylines that we've generated each of our catchments, okay? Just get some representative data to be able to look at. All right, we return to the dialog box and just go straight to the last tab where we make sure to treat the closed areas as polygons, okay? Processed, file is done very quickly, okay? So we're gonna hop over to InfraWorks where I have the project already up and you see a representative of what it's going to look like. And I wanna bring in this land XML file. Okay, let me go browse for it. And I want to grab, there we go, grab the surface XML file, okay? Now I need to go in and configure it so we can see it. Not many options when you're working with a land XML file. You just basically go in and verify the coordinate system and just close and refresh just for it to show, okay? So there we go. Now I need to bring in the SDF file of the watersheds we created. Okay, and we did it to VTT watersheds. Okay, now we need to configure it because it is not uh, appearing at all in the drawing. Okay, so since it's automatically going to drape, I'm not going to go over there. Um, we choose coverage areas for it. I'm going to go ahead and style it to something I kind of like. Um, I'm going to show one this one way it is kind of kind of slick, um, where you get a border, but it pushes a hole through your surface, okay? So once I close and refresh that, I get this odd error box or notification, and you'll see that the watersheds actually cut out or projected a hole through my surface. So all you get are boundaries, okay? For those areas that were there. It's pretty handy if that's what you're looking for. Um, it's one way of showing it. I'm going to go back in here and restyle it a different way. So I have a separate outline and border. I could choose an individual color, but they're all going to kind of mesh together where they butt up against each other. But I like this because it has a separate outline from the fill. 
So we choose this, we're satisfied with that. For now, close and refresh, let it look at it again, get the dialog box, and here are our watershed areas. As you see, they are projected to our surface, draped rather, okay? Individual objects to where you can actually select and see uh, different information about them, okay? So you see each one of them highlight, okay? Upon clicking, you get the area of coverage, and that is it. Thank you.